Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. One of the most innovative and advanced organizations in the world is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. They are responsible for scientific research and achievements in space science, aeronautics, and many other scientific projects worldwide. While they may seem like the perfect organization, with all of the achievements they have done so far, don't be deceived, they had got some skeletons hidden in the dark. Here are 10 dark NASA secrets you wouldn't know about. Number 1 is sure to blow your mind. Keep watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Number 10. NASA lost a very expensive satellite to a math error. With the standards and expertise in places at NASA, one would expect that NASA scientists should know basic math, like unit conversion and the like. Unfortunately, in 1999, NASA launched the Mars Climate Orbiter. It was designed to study the planet's weather condition, atmospheric compositions and conduct a lot of other experiments. NASA had to get everything right, because getting a satellite to orbit the Earth is a hard enough problem mathematically. Now, imagine shooting a satellite from Earth and perfectly putting it into orbit around another planet. That's a whole new level of complex, because if the satellite got too low in the Martian atmosphere, the friction would burn it up and the multi-million dollar satellite would be lost forever. However, when the orbiter got to Mars and fired its thrusters to enter the Martian orbit, the craft started going way too fast and fell straight into the surface of the planet. NASA legit freaked out at this point, but after reviewing their mission, they realized what the mistake was. Someone programmed the computer flight control software to calculate the thrust in the English unit of pounds instead of the metric unit of newtons. That little mistake made all the flight control calculations wrong, hence the crash of the orbiter. That incident has been a warning to physics students about the importance of checking units. Number 9. NASA has a gator infestation problem. Space travel, as we all know, comes with its attendant hazards. Astronauts have to deal with muscle atrophy, space radiation and some other hazards. But it turns out that they also face some dangers on Earth before even getting into space. Gators. Yes, you heard that right. NASA has a considerable gator infestation problem. Anybody who has lived in Florida probably isn't surprised by that. Since NASA operates 145,000 acres of land in Florida, there are bound to be gators who have found themselves displaced by rockets and research centers. Normally, they are found hiding in their cars, but sometimes they climb over fences and find their way into research centers, even though NASA also has issues with rattlesnakes, buzzards and even the occasional wild pig the gators are certainly the most extreme animal problem they had to deal with yet. Security teams around the NASA campus are trained on what to do when an alligator gets somewhere that they don't want it to be. They are probably more worried about the stray gators than foreign spies. Fortunately, the gators haven't stopped any space launches yet. But then, given the number of space launches, we wouldn't be surprised to find out that one of them makes their way into a rocket. Have you ever thought about zero gravity gators? Number 8. They accidentally recorded over the original tapes of the Apollo 11 moon landing. It is not news that NASA has been accused repeatedly of staging the moon landing since the day the footage aired on live TV. So when NASA disclosed that the original video recordings of the 1969 landing were missing, the conspiracy theorists had a field day. However, in 2004, an archive in Sydney confirmed to NASA that it has located the missing videos. It turned out to be false, but it set in motion a global search for the lost footage. With its recovery, NASA hoped to produce sharper images of the landing than those broadcasts which were produced by a TV camera pointed at a monitor. Today, most experts at NASA believe the tape are long gone due to budget cuts. It was standard procedure in the 1960s and 70s to reuse the tape reels after a certain number of years in storage. The originals were likely part of a batch up to 200,000 tapes that were magnetically erased. At this point, you're probably wondering what has been saved over the years. In 1972, astronaut John Young developed a major case of gas while standing on the moon. He had accidentally left his microphone on. NASA recorded his discussion on what all the food was doing to his intestines. The same astronaut was also recorded while eating a corned beef sandwich he had smuggled aboard a separate mission. When he shared it with his co-pilot, it began to crumble and fly everywhere, threatening to get behind the electrical panels and short-circuit wiring. Talk about breaking the rules. Number 7. NASA and the Air Force nuked the moon just to show off to the Russians. The Cold War was one hell of a crazy race between the United States and Russia. Both sides came up with some crazy ideas, but none was as mad as Project A-119. It was a mission conceived by the United States Air Force and NASA to nuke the moon, for no reason. 
There was really nothing to gain from it, they just wanted to show the Soviets that they could. They came up with various scientific reasons for the mission, claiming that it was important to know what would happen if a nuclear bomb blew up on the moon and its effect on Earth. Now, that was quite risky as the effects of a nuclear bomb on the moon would have been felt on Earth. Thankfully, the pragmatic ones among them prevailed and the mission was scrapped. NASA and the Air Force would have to find another way to intimidate the Russians. The interesting part of all this is that Project A119 is just one of many Cold War projects that were planned. Most of them have not been declassified up until now. Makes you wonder what other crazy plans are lying on NASA's bookshelves. Number 6. NASA knew that the Challenger would blow up. The Challenger explosion of 1986 was one that shocked the world. We had become so used to the idea of space travel that the space shuttle blowing up on live TV was something we couldn't wrap our heads around. What was even worse about this tragedy was that NASA knew it was going to happen. Rockets under severe stress during launch, so engineers have to make them perfect, down to the smallest detail. One important part of the shuttle's rocket boosters was the O-ring seals, which kept key joints into the rockets together. Now, O-rings are made out of rubber, which is highly affected by temperature changes. Before the 1986 launch, the contractors who designed Challenger's O-rings realized that a recent cold spell had ruined them. Engineer Roger Bryce Jolie knew the rings wouldn't hold. He called up NASA to tell them that the space shuttle would blow up and they had to delay the launch. NASA refused. Paul Bryce Jolie went home knowing that the astronauts were going to die. The next day, they did. Years later, Bryce Jolie still blamed himself for the explosion, running over the events and punishing himself. But everybody else knew the truth. Bryce Jolie wasn't to blame. NASA killed their own astronauts. Number 5. They denied the Apollo 11 astronauts insurance. And the months leading up to the Apollo 11 launch, Neil Armstrong and his crew signed hundreds of autographs, but most notably were the covers, or envelopes, signed and postmarked on important dates. When NASA fell short on the astronauts' life insurance policy, the men sent signed autographs to their friends and family so they could sell them in the event of disaster. Their actions were warranted as well. Reports say that NASA already had a plan to sever communication with the Apollo 11 if the astronauts became stranded on the moon. Nixon even had a pre-written speech. As recent as 2003, NASA had no special insurance for its astronauts. When the Challenger mission exploded mid-flight, the deceased family received the standard federal life insurance payout, but nothing more. The good news is that with space tourism consistently threaded on the horizon, some private companies are ready to cover your insurance fees should you choose to defy gravity. Number 4. NASA and the Air Force fly a secret space shuttle. While NASA would like for us to believe they're all about science, they also work in tandem with the military. They helped the Air Force to run its top secret X-370B space plane. It looks like a miniature space shuttle, but nobody knows exactly what the X-370B does. While they may not have built it, they usually help the Air Force launch operations. In helping, they also get to carry out some of their missions on the space plane, which flies in low orbit and moves around a lot using state-of-the-art Hall Effect iron thrusters. Besides NASA's science projects, the Air Force has not disclosed what the X-370B is doing in space. Although, there are those who are invested in such things and love to speculate about what the X-37B is doing, some of them think that those super cool ion thrusters are being tested for future spy satellites. Most likely, the X-37B has tons of cameras and surveillance equipment flying around the club spying. Whatever the case, the X-37B logs massive 600 day missions and it's currently flying one, orbiting the Earth, doing its secret things. Skilled skywatchers have started to track the space plane in the sky, but be careful, if we are looking at the X-47B, it is also looking back at us. And it is probably an advanced technological big brother who is always watching. Number 3. Astronauts are taught to restrain others with duct tape. We've all experienced the cabin fever that set in during the lockdown all over the world due to the pandemic. Now, imagine being with your least favorite roommate for months on end. You are very likely to go off the deep end. Always ready, NASA has a plan for such moments. Normally, you would expect some advanced restraining technology. Sorry to disappoint you. It's as basic as it gets. The official procedure for when an astronaut goes nuts while on a mission reads, the astronaut's crewmates should bind his wrists and ankles with duct tape, tie him down with a bungee cord and inject him with tranquilizers if necessary. You could argue that astronauts can't use stun guns in space or any sort of weapons that use projectiles. Those weapons risk damaging important tech in the space station or even punching a hole in the capsules, hence the duct tape. 
The document is part of a space station checklist with instructions for every possible medical emergency. However, that advice is as far as the instructions go and there is no official protocol in the event of death. However, before launch, members of a mission will participate in a death simulation workshop in the scenario. Number 2. Astronauts drink their own urine. The scientists at NASA have developed a way for astronauts to recycle and condensate the crew's collective breath, sweat, shower runoff and urine, turning it into drinking water. The system recycles about 6,000 liters of water for the station each year and produces more than the ionized silver-based systems of the Russians. The Russian cosmonauts apparently refuse to drink the reclaimed urine water. The astronauts aren't bothered by their counterparts' judgment. Reportedly, they simply use the Russian urine too. The astronauts also have the special training in how to poop properly in zero gravity. Because of the weightlessness experienced, toilets on the space station require fans to create suction, allegedly a huge improvement from the method of the early shuttle days, using adhesive to fix collection bags to their behinds. Number 1. NASA harbored former Nazi scientists after World War II. After World War II, the behavior of the Allied forces was not exactly exemplary. The CIA was hard at work with Project Paperclip, which was a covert operation to populate the US space, military and technology programs with Nazi scientists. The objective was to prevent the Nazi scientists from being taken by the Soviet Union. The CIA was able to recover a document called the Osenberg List. It was a catalog of scientists and engineers who worked for the Nazis. They were able to bring over 1,600 of those German scientists and their families to work for America. Chief among them was Werner von Braun, one of the best Nazi rocket scientists of World War II. During the war, von Braun was in charge of developing Nazi rockets, specifically the V-2 missiles used against the United Kingdom. To make matters worse, he oversaw forced labor from concentration camps to build the terror weapons. On arrival in America, he started working with NACA. When NACA turned into NASA and the United States got serious about the space race, Van Braun got to work on the Saturn rocket, which shot American astronauts to the moon. He is one of the most important rocket scientists in history and completely revolutionized spaceflight in his time with NASA. And there you have it, 10 dark NASA secrets. Is there any secret you know that is not on the list? Let us know in the comments below. To get more content like this, hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching, bye!